Hey guys, I didn't shave for you today. Sorry, I'm looking scruffy, but uh, this is just gonna be a really quick video uh, follow-up on the farmer only install setup that I had. I did uh, some testing over the last week or so and combined my farmer only install with uh, multiple farmer install architecture to see the time to verify a plot as well as if you get more challenges if you have more farmers so stay tuned this is going to be a really quick one i'm just going to go run through the architecture that i set up the test results that i had and unfortunately i'm debunking that previous video so i'm going to go edit it and make sure that there's a disclaimer that says this was later uh, disproven. So I'm one to admit that I'm wrong. That's okay. I was testing out a theory and I verified that it was incorrect. So anyways, let's get right to the results. It's going to be a real quick video and catch you after the intro. All right guys, so this is a quick follow-up to the farmer only install video that I posted that basically went through the architecture and the definition of the Chia farmer only service. So what had caught my eye and what had spawned that video was that the farmers were analogous to the Bitcoin miners. If it actually was, then it would be the one that's actually mining slash farming the uh, the plots, the crypto plots. So I think that's an erroneous statement here. Uh, they earn the block rewards and fees by trying to create a valid block before anyone else. So basically my theory on this was that if you had multiple farmers, multiple farmers would be trying to create a valid block and the fastest farmer in your environment would then get the quickest result. So if the harvester says, can you validate this pool? you would have 10 farmers that would be able to review it. Your fastest one that gets back to that harvester would then be the fastest, uh, the fastest re review of the reward block. So having more, more, more farmers in theory should actually have helped this uh, definition, uh, well, by definition. So that's where I came up with the idea of having multiple farmers, even having an iPhone or whatever with a farmer, because the more farmers you would have, the faster that you would be able to uh, verify and earn these rewards and fees. This was not the case in my in my test testing methodology. What I ended up doing was I ended up having five uh, farmer only installs. Actually, there's two that are missing from this diagram that were put on the network that were just basically a farmer only install. One of my servers was just sitting there, installed Chia, set up the farmer only install, and let it run. So. In my test methodology, I had five farmer only installs running and one full node, obviously that was reporting all of their stuff. I took a 48 hour period to verify the number of blocks, the uh, verified blocks and the, t the average time to report those verifications. I then removed all the other farmer only installs, ran just a single full node for 48 hours and tested the same thing and took the average time to see which is faster if I got more reward blocks with the five farmers versus the none. And unfortunately, my testing came out to be uh, that a single farmer seemed to be more efficient. I don't know the answer to this, but in my multiple farmers test, we ended up getting 349 plots eligible for farming. That was with five farmers. Uh, the non-eligible was 18,142, obviously zero proofs because it's Chia. Why would you ever get a coin? Uh, and then I took the average time of those 349 eligible plots to uh, average time for proof validation. And so the average time for proof validation was 0.21 Valilla. With a single farmer, uh, another 48 hour period, exactly 48 hour periods. I took the logs just for 48 hour periods. We got about the same non-eligible, almost the identical when you when you think about it. Uh, the plots, uh, the verified plot eligibles was increased. And this was 
a little bit of a shock to me. Now that could be a variance based on a lot of things. It could be a variance based on the network. It could be a variance based on a ton of things. But um, we ended up getting quite a few more plots in just a f in just a forty eight hour period. So exponentially, if you were to carry this on for weeks and weeks, that value in theory should actually increase significantly over having multiple farmers. I don't know the reason why, but that's that's what I found in the 48 hour period. I also found out that the average time to verify those plots, going against all knowledge on their uh, definition, was actually quite a bit lower. So the average time to verify that proof was, was slower, or faster, sorry, was faster. So it, it appears as though having a single farmer is the way to go. I did these on the, the version 1.16 and uh, that's what I came up with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that video. I'm going to put a little disclaimer to say, hey, this was disproven. The theory was sound based on their definition, but this is not the case. So uh, I've admitted I my theory was incorrect. My understanding of the documentation was incorrect. So we can move forward with just basically a single farmer seems to be the only thing um, and now I want to ask uh, you guys because I like to post longer videos when I do upgrades when I do everything usually about 20 20 to 30 minute videos and I'm wondering if you guys would prefer a lot shorter videos or keep them at you know the 20 minute span uh, so leave a leave a comment if you want longer videos or shorter videos um, I find that some people don't actually go through a whole video because they're too lazy or they don't like my voice. So maybe I'll cut things down a little bit and do you know smaller chunks and do different parts. But anyways, uh, like, subscribe, uh, and hit the notification button. I'm going to actually try to make this a thing. And I hope you enjoy the content. So I will chia later.